What's going on my bears? Welcome back to the channel. Today is an arm session. I'm here with my buddy Taylor and we actually already did our first workout but I'll record that again so do an extra set for you guys because that's how much I love you guys even though my buys are already pretty dead but anyway right now we're doing some close grip bench press and uh, that'll be our first tricep exercise but uh, for now I think what I'll do for this video today is uh, make a montage and then voice over as per usual but it might change I'm not sure um, you guys might notice that the functional trainer that was here no longer there and instead there's a adjustable bench and I picked that up from Craigslist this was uh, 40 bucks here it came with a hundred pounds of weight very very cool for now let's just observe this set here so he's setting his back nice and tight setting the grip nice and with the close grip of course you don't want to go like too close just close enough uh, just like maybe an inch or two away from your normal bench press grip and here we're going for five sets of ten looks pretty easy I mean it should be pretty easy Taylor's a pretty strong guy so yeah easy sets nice. Make solid contact with the J cups, and yeah, that's it. Very simple, very easy. All right, my friends. So with the uh, barbell bicep curls, uh, pretty much when you're intentionally going heavy, or that's the idea for this exercise, the first exercise. I don't really care so much if you sort of swing the weight up like that. Uh, the most important part is to focus on the eccentric loading. So from here down, you want to control it as best you can and resist as much as you can. Uh, this is going to be a really great way to build up your biceps. So just do it five sets of ten. And towards the top, get a little bit of shoulder flexion. So from this range to this range, you can really hit the top part of your bicep, the upper portion, a lot better. So if you need help with like building your peak or you know just building a better shape it's a pretty good way to go about it just getting a little bit of shoulder flexion in there so that's pretty much it for the barbell curl now we're going to finish up the close grip bench I don't even know if I'm in frame probably now I am we're going to finish up the close grip bench and then move on to the next bicep exercise Unilateral bicep curls, and with this, uh, we are over or hyper supinating the wrist, and that's just to get a better contraction of the bicep. Now, with this exercise, it's not like the first bicep exercise I did. It, this is more of a controlled kind of thing, where you really just want to feel the best mind-muscle connection you can, and really feel that squeeze. I think I did seven reps just now. Mm -hmm. Eight. We're going for like 12, 12 to 15. Is that 10? Yeah. Okay. It's hard to keep track of the rep count when I'm talking, but oh god, okay. 12. That's good. So don't pick a, a dumbbell that's too heavy for you. Uh, really just pick a dumbbell that's like going to be perfect for hitting that 12 to 15 rep range. And go for like four, four sets, five sets, something like that. Oh, I think that was six. Yep. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ooh, God. Ten. Now, if you need to, to prevent swing, you can put your hand sort of on your hip, but only if you really need to. Ooh, that felt good. Going to juicy bicep veins that you can't really see in camera. Oh well, whatever. Just at least have a little bit of volume. All right, so next up we got some skull crushers with the uh, 
25 pound training bar and my partner is going to lift it off for me and three two one up oh, yep and then what you want to do is set it about eye level so that your hands are um, relatively in front of your shoulders so you don't want to be directly over your chest you kind of want to be over here this is going to give you the best amount of tension on your tricep and this exercise is great for building up the long head just be careful and always have a spotter or some semblance of spotting when you do this because you don't want to like fail and smash your head in trust me i've done that before when i was younger and it hurts like hell so just be a little bit careful i don't ever recommend doing this exercise as your first tricep exercise you definitely want to warm up on something else just to protect the elbows but here we're going for about 12 reps 12 to 15 that'll be it and then gently set it down pretty straightforward stuff you've seen skull crushers before on the channel so you kind of know what's going on but anyway that was set number one we got three more So next up, we got concentration curls, and I am using BFR bands, blood flow restriction, uh, just to build up a better pump. And there are some studies that uh, say that this is actually a good way to build up your biceps, but I don't know. I just like them because the pump feels really nice. We're gonna go over like 10 to 12, 15 reps here. bracing my curling arm with in front sort of straight and try to sit almost at like a 90 degree angle here so I can get a very straight path for the dumbbell here two three four five six oh man my left arm is very weak and One more. Come on, baby. Ten. Woo. So, yeah. Huh. Concentration curls I always feel pretty good, so always include them in my workouts. Um, especially if I'm here and don't have cables or anything, but yeah, it's good stuff. All right, so Taylor has left but I'm going to finish out the last two exercises of my arm day, and that is gonna be some tricep push downs with the bands. So I basically just attach a pull-up band to the pull-up bar and attach this handle to it and use this as sort of a band push down. And uh, yeah. I do like working with these just because the resistance curve is very interesting, but uh, I would much rather have an actual cable to work with, but sometimes you just gotta work with what you got. It is still pretty difficult though. Anyway, and uh, the last bicep exercise is just some dumbbell hammer curls. Just go for a very high rep range here really pump up the biceps for that final push for peak pump, you know. Probably go for like 20 reps. Always like to include neutral grip bicep work just to work that brachialis a little bit more. I think that was 20, but well, we'll just keep going, just in case. Alright, 
Well, that's it, everybody. Uh, that's pretty much the entire arm workout. Thanks for tuning in today. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below, and I will answer those as soon as I can. Before we leave, don't forget to like and subscribe as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.